Notion have just released a neat little update which contains some features users like me and many others have been waiting for a long, long time. I had a chance to have a little look at these new hidden features and it's time for me to line them all up in this quick video. So off we go. Hi, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Jonathan. I'm a simplicity specialist who helps small business owners and teams who are ready to take simplifying their business seriously with flexible tools and tech that help them to grow without having to sacrifice everything else around them. And in this video, we are talking about some of the features that have just been released in the November update. I slightly teased it with a bad pun, but here I'm going to announce it clearly for you. We have the timeline view, which is a feature that was teased back in July 2019. So for those who are new to Notion for the longest time, we've only had five database types. We've had the table, the board, the calendar, the list and the gallery. But now we finally have the timeline view. So to create a timeline, all you need to use is the forward slash time, and then you'll be able to put in the full page timeline or an inline timeline. Now full page is self-explanatory. It adds a full page timeline database and the inline creates a slightly smaller but inline database. You can switch between the two. So here are three quick things for you to know about using the timeline view. Number one, you can hide the table so it just shows the timeline itself. Now this is fantastic when you don't want that table clogging up the full page, it's on the left hand side there. So you can focus on the timeline view on its own without that weird side table bit. You can resize of course, but some people like it, some people don't. With the table view visible however, you can show properties on that table part or also in the timeline view itself. When you're only in the timeline view, you can only edit the visible properties on the actual timeline it itself. Next up, we have the ability to choose your timeline length. This is absolutely brilliant. So you can go from hours, days, weeks, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. This gives you the flexibility to see your timeline in a variety of different ways, depending on your needs. How cool is that? And finally, we have the choice of using either one or two properties for matching up the start and end date. If you want to just use one properties and keep your properties below so that you don't have to worry about having lots of pesky properties viewable, although I might have a good solution for you, stick around to the end of the video and you'll find out. You can just have one property and use the start date, end date feature. If, however, you want more flexibility, then you can create two properties. One is the start date, one is the end date. You can, of course, label it anything and choose that in the settings in the timeline by view. So here's a few ways I'm testing out the timeline view. And it also includes a nice free template for you that you can download in the description. So first of all, I'm experimenting with a proposal template which shows a kind of timeline of a potential project together from start to finish. As well as that, on my main home dashboard, there'll be an update on that video very soon telling you about my new system. Um, I have my meeting tracker in a weekly view. Now, of course, you can use the calendar view, um, but I really like the minimal and being able to see how many meetings I have, whether they're back to back, especially if I include the times. On top of the timeline view, we also have another feature that's been added. This is a new option inside of both pages and more importantly and excitingly, databases. This is the customize page option. This allows you to hide and view properties, comments and backlinks on a per database level. Yes, you heard me. Hiding properties on a database. Okay, okay. So let's quickly go through how it works before I get even more excited. <laughs> First of all, open up any database entry and right click the name of the property like so. Click on customize page and then you have this beautiful little window comes up and gives you a number of options for each property on this database. You can either always show, which is perfect for project or task deadlines perhaps, always hide for those sneaky nerdy formulas you've copied from others but don't really need to see anymore because it only appears in a certain view on a certain gallery in a certain section. Or of course, you've got the hide when empty. This is absolutely amazing for when you have a relation between your projects and tasks database. So if you're in your projects uh, database, if you've hidden your tasks, if they, they are empty, it won't show it. There's no need to show things that you need. Come, come and get those cheers again, because this is amazing. 
On top of this, we can also turn on or off both backlinks as well as having comments off or expanded. Perfect for those who don't really use the comments inside of projects or tasks or somewhere where they just don't seem very useful. Now, of course, you can click show properties at any time and it will show them all so you can swap and change, add on, rearrange, etc. however you'd like. Then once you're done rearranging and hiding them all, just refresh and it disappears. And if that's not enough, there is one more thing in this update. You now have the ability to limit the number of entries on first load. Previously, when you added something new to any databases, especially in a linked view, it showed around 50 to 100 entries and then you needed to click the show next 100. This was fine, but often this meant slower loading times and I was always after a way to only show, for example, the top 10. Well, now, thanks to this update, it's possible. If you click on the three dots on any linked view of the database, we can select how many entries to show on first load. It can be set to 10, 25, 50, 100, or if you really like to see all of the information, it can be set to show all of them. This means you can limit how many entries you view at any one time. For me on my home page, it means I see the last 10 notes that I've captured on the brain dump on my home OS page. This is perfect for those who find seeing lots of tasks or notes or projects in one place really overwhelming. Now you can just see the next 10. And if you use this feature in combination with a sort, it means you can only see the next 10 things, for example, that you need to do in your task list. Very exciting. So that's it for this video. I'll include a link where you can download the timeline view little template that I created, as well as the what's new notes from Notion as well, so you can see all the other little updates that might have appeared during this time. Let me know in the comments below if there are any of these features you'd like me to dive deeper into, show examples of, or just what you want me to talk about next on this channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.